ever eaten a rabbit? Well, have you ever eaten a squirrel? What about a bee? Would you eat a bumblebee? This one's name is coconut. Do you name your food before you eat it? You do not eat panda bears! Are you sure about that? Maybe you do. We should find out. Let's do some research. She didn't mean that, coconut! She did not mean that! Hello, Hello. welcome! This is my stuffed animal collection. Today we are playing a game, Can You Eat It? Based off of Leviticus 11. Let's take it away. Hello. That's a kangaroo. Can we eat it? Can eat this because it does not chew the, the cud. cud. And it does not have what? A split hook. What's a cud? It's what they eat and they swallow and they spit back up again. That's called the cud. This is a reindeer. We can eat it. It's yes, got a split hook can. and it chews the cud. This monkey is a monkey. Can't eat it. Can't eat it. Because it does not have a split hook. Doesn't chew the cud. A squirrel. squirrel. We can eat this. No, we can't. We can't. No, we can't because it's got a split it, it doesn't. It doesn't have a split hook. Squirrels are off limits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm a little monkey. He is best friends with coconut. If you all remember. No eating monkey. We can't eat the monkey. No split hook. No split hook. Does not chew the cud. But I'm holding on to him. We cannot eat coconut. Thankfully. Oink oink. I'm a pig, and you can't eat me because I do not have a split hook, yes, yes. and I do not have a yes, chewing the cud. You have to have both. Yep. It has split hoof, but it does not chew the cud. A bunny. Can we eat the bunny? Mm. We, in fact, cannot eat the bunny. No bunnies for you. You know why. Why? If you can guess it by now, does not have a split hoof. No. Does not chew the cud. No. Goodbye, cute bunny. Porcupines. We cannot eat a porcupine because it is sharp and hard to catch. No, because he's got no split hoof and he doesn't chew the cud. Donkeys. Can we eat donkeys? No, no. Donkey is not on the list. Does not chew the cud. Does not have a split hoof. Can we eat a giraffe? The answer, a we giraffe. can eat a giraffe. Yes, because it's got a split, split hoof, hoof and, and chews, chews the, the cud. cud. Can ah. we eat the lamb? Yes. Can we eat Mr. Crow? Yes. Split hoof. Eat chews the, the cud. cud. <laughs> Dolphins. We cannot eat a dolphin because without scales, it only has a fin. Can we eat fish? Yes, we can eat fish. Yes, we can. It has scales. Scales. And what is this? A fin. Quack, 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 quack. This is a duck. Leviticus 11 has a list of birds you cannot eat, and the duck is not on there, therefore we can eat the duck. Oh. This is a crow. We can't eat the crow. The crow is an unclean fowl. Inchworm. We Inchworm. can't eat it because it's an insect that does not have like a bent knee. No bent knee on this guy. We can't eat it because it does not jump upon the earth. I'm a bee. We cannot eat bees. Mm -mm. Does not jump upon the earth. Boing! Boing! I'm okay. a grasshopper. This is a grasshopper. Now we can eat this. Can anyone guess why? You got it. It jumps upon the earth. This is a, a chameleon lizard. lizard. We can't eat it. Can we eat this mouse? No, we can't eat we the mouse. We cannot eat the mouse. Unclean. We also cannot eat a rat. Lizard. Can we eat a lizard? No. Let me see Let's hands. See. Just kidding. These are the rules that God gave to the Jews on what they were allowed to eat and not allowed to eat. Hey, kitty. And here is an animal that you see in person. Do you have a favorite pet? Maybe you have... Your favorite food to eat. Because God loves all people, there's no clean and unclean people. God sees us as all as equals, and so we should treat others the same way. Let's find out what the Apostle Peter learns about clean and unclean. We are reading Acts chapter 10. Pause the video, go grab your Bible, and turn to Acts chapter 10, starting at the beginning, verse 1. At Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of what was known as the Italian cohort, a devout man who feared God with all his household, gave alms generously to the people, and prayed continually to God. About the ninth hour of the day he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God come in and say to him, Cornelius, and he stared at him in terror and said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, Your prayers and your alms have ascended as a memorial before God, and now send men to Joppa and bring one Simon who is called Peter. 
He is lodging with one Simon, a tanner, whose house is by the sea. When the angel who spoke to him had departed, he called two of his servants and a devout soldier from among those who attended him, and having related everything to them, he sent them to Joppa. The next day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up on the housetop about noon to pray, and he became hungry and wanted something to eat, but while they were preparing it, he fell into a trance and saw the heavens opened and something like a great sheet descending, being let down by its four corners upon the earth. In it were all kinds of animals and reptiles and birds of the air, and there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, By no means, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. And the voice came to him again a second time, What God has made clean do not call common. This happened three times, and the thing was taken up at once to heaven. Now while Peter was inwardly perplexed as to what the vision he had seen might mean, behold, the men who were sent by Cornelius, having made inquiry for Simon's house, stood at the gate and called out to ask whether Simon, who was called Peter, was lodging there. And while Peter was pondering the vision, the spirit said to him, Behold, three men are looking for you. Rise and go down and accompany them without hesitation, for I have sent them. And Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you are looking for. What is the reason for your coming? And they said, Cornelius, a centurion, an upright and God-fearing man who is well spoken of by the whole Jewish nation, was directed by a holy angel to send for you to come to his house and to hear what you have to say. So he invited them in to be his guests. The next day Peter rose and went away with them, and some of the brothers from Joppa accompanied him. And on the following day they entered Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter lifted him up, saying, Stand up, I too am a man. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many persons gathered. And he said to them, You yourselves know how unlawful it is for a Jew to associate with or to visit anyone of another nation. But God has shown me that I should not call any person common or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without objection. I asked then why you sent for me. And Cornelius said, Four days ago, about this hour, I was praying in my house at 3 p.m. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing and said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard and your alms have been remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa and ask for Simon, who is called Peter. He is lodging in the house of Simon, a tanner by the sea. So I sent for you at once, and you have been kind enough to come. Now therefore we are all here in the presence of God to hear all that you have been commanded by the Lord. So Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly, I understand that God does not show favoritism, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. As for the word that he sent to Israel, preaching good news of peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. You yourselves know what happened throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee, after the baptism that John proclaimed. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And we are all witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and made him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who had been chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God to be judge of the living and the dead. To Jesus, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word, and the believers from among the circumcised who had come with Peter were amazed, because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles, for they were hearing them speaking in tongues and praising God. Then Peter declared, Can anyone withhold water for baptizing these people who have received Receive the Holy Spirit just as we have, and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked him to remain for some days. Way back with Abraham and Moses, God made the Jews his chosen people and gave them many laws to follow. Unfortunately, a lot of Jews took that to mean they were better than other people, Gentiles, because they were better at following God. God showed Peter that God doesn't have a favorite group of people. God sees all people equally, no matter where they come from. If you know a lot about God and the Bible, it might be tempting to look down on people who don't know very much or people who look like they're not obeying God. But when you think about it, I'm sure you can remember lots of times when you purposely did the wrong things and sinned. And if you see other people who look perfect on the outside, 
they still have lots of sin in their hearts because all people have sinned against God. And we all need to ask God for forgiveness and ask the Holy Spirit to help us obey God. Will you ask God to help you be loving and treat everyone equally, just like he does? Thanks for hanging out with us. I'll leave you with these questions to talk about with your family.